Hello friends at Sunny Hill, welcome back or welcome for the first time to our daily devotionals. It is take five and we are meditating in the book of Nehemiah and today we are going to be reading the chapter 10. I hope you have read this very easy chapter to read uh, previously because I am not going to read it with you. There are lots of name here, names here and it is a bunch of people that were very important at this moment in the lives of the Israelites but I'm not going to read them because it's just too many and very difficult to pronounce especially if it is a Greek or Jewish name and it is written in English um, and someone that doesn't speak English as their first language to read so bear with me so um, if you did not read the previous chapter, which was eight and nine, we talked about yesterday, go back and read it because it will make sense to you, the chapter 10, if you read the previous two. So in the previous two, a recap, we saw a group of people, the Israelites, uh, the, the people of Israel, uh, in desperate in desperate desire for the word of God. So they called the priest, Ezra, to please come and read to us the, the law of Moses that God has given to us. And Ezra was reading aloud from the top of a, a stand that they had created for him. Uh, day in, day out, throughout the week, throughout the month, I think, to all those who could understand, men, women, children, anyone that would like to, to know about the Word of God. And as they compared their lives and their, their actions to what God had commanded them to do, they, they realized that they were very, very distant from from the idea from what god had planned for them and they they really uh, got into a into a state of deeply sorrow they were they they repent they, they repented they they really broke poured out their hearts before god and they they regret so much um for taking such a distant a distant path for themselves they they regretted they 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 were so sorry for their ancestors who did not keep up you know with the with the law with the commands with what god had asked from them and here in the chapter 10 after a long praise uh, that they lifted to god in the chapter 9 they they make a commitment they 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 seal an agreement uh, which uh, it was being put in writing so all the leaders and Levites and the priests could affix and seal to it so that's why there is a there is a long list of names here uh, so they were making this agreement and assuming responsibility to carry out the commands uh, that God had given them. Um, if you read the, the chapter, the verse 32, for example, we assume the responsibility for carrying out the commands to give a third of the shekel each year for the service of the house uh, of the house of the Lord. In each of the verses, uh, they express how committed, how intentionally committed they are in observing and and practicing and um, carrying out what God had uh, requested from them. In on the the last verse, the verse thirty nine at the end, the last bit of the verse, it says, "We will not neglect the house of uh, of our God." So they come to this conclusion. We we have mistaken before. We have. Uh, made wrong choices. Our ancestors really put aside all the law of God, but this is not going to be the case from now on. 
we will not neglect the house of the Lord. So my prayer this morning is that you and I can commit our actions, our hearts, our words, our way of thinking, our emotions to honor God and not neglect what he's been telling you and me uh, what we should do, how we should do, what we, we, what we should say, what we, sh we should give up, what we shouldn't give up. So I pray today that you are going to be obedient after realizing that you have made mistakes, after repenting, you are going to commit to walk straight in the path that he has placed right before you. Have a great day. God bless you.